I'm the lawyer. Unlike the orc here, I don't want to hurt you. I think we can help each other. He says his tribe was taken over by a big uh, hobgoblin. Bugbear. Bugbear. We know you don't want to be attacking travelers like petty thieves. We know that how. You should confess your sins. You guys don't speak goblin. If you lead us there and help us find our missing friends, we can free your tribe. I'll put a leash on him. We're not putting a leash on him. We have to show a little trust if we want him to trust us. We do? What's he gonna do? If he runs, you'll just blast him. That much is true. Hello, I'm the lawyer. We don't want to hurt any of you. If you let us through and return our missing friends, we will rid you of the hobgoblin. He said bugbear. Bugbear. Yes. Wait, I failed that one check, but that doesn't mean they'll attack. If you want to help us, release Jimmy, then wait here. We come back for you. We can't just wait here for them to come back in force. We already promised Jimmy we'd release him after this part. He has proved his honorable intentions. He has? And he's free to go. Go ahead, Jimmy. But my powerful friends aren't just going to stand around. We are coming in to find our friends and to free you from the Hobgoblin Tyrant. It's a bugbear. There is a difference, you know. We didn't come here to kill goblins. Please, spread the word to your friends and leader to let us pass. If you don't attack us, we won't attack you. We can all come out of this alive. Except the Hob... Bugbear. Wait! Just because I rolled really well, that also doesn't mean we're in the clear. The bugbear is that way. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Guys, I was just down at the barracks, and the soldiers say the gang all hide out at this one tavern. Let's go crush them. I'm up for a bar fight! Just make sure we get in there and throw a punch before the lawyer gets a chance to talk. I speak Goblin too. I'm not dumb enough to trust them though. I was just waiting for the whole diplomacy thing to fall apart. But it worked. I'm still waiting for it to come back and bite us. Death isn't some god to worship. It doesn't need my prayers. It's a force of nature. The greatest force. Death always wins. There's nothing wrong with this live and let live stuff. You don't go killing people for no reason. But you can't be afraid of death. It's everywhere. It's natural. Sooner or later, these guys will have to deal with that, one way or another. Going soft on these guys is just asking for trouble. What killed my dad was not going all out. Trying to find a way to avoid killing a bunch of orcs. You're half-orc, right? And you're a racist, right? My parents were both paladins. They protected people. My father, yes, he was an orc, fought against aggressive, evil orcs. That sounds admirable. Of course. But when you fight, you have to fight. If you worry too much about the guys who are fighting, you and your friends are going to pay the price. I promise myself I am never going to make that same mistake. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. Or on your touchscreen, please lick the like button. Warning, licking the touchscreen is not recommended. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash DemonX.